the 500 versus 1000 diagnostic scanner showdown the launch x431 versus the king Bolden k10 is spending 1000 us dollars actually needed to get a decent obd diagnostic scanner what about just spending 500 what are the differences which diagnostic scanner should you choose? In front of me, we have fighting for your $1,000, the King Bolin K10, and fighting for your $500, the old X431 Launch Pro Elite. Both units are premium products with a lot of features that overlap. I would go so far of saying that if you would just look at the demo of these tools, you would think that besides the screen size and the topology mapping, they are identical. The rest is just marketing or, or maybe not. Hello everyone, I am Bogdan. I help people upgrade their cars and this requires me having decent diagnostic tools to make sure that those cars do not explode. I'm considering starting a diagnostic course in which I go in extreme detail of how to make best use of these tools and show people how even with an inexpensive tool you're able to achieve what other people are spending lots of money on. So use the emails below, send me your ideas of what are the things that are challenging you and what things you would see useful to be covered in a diagnostic course like that. Back to our fight, back to these tools. We start with the specs because everybody likes the specs. The K10, $1,000, has a 10 inch screen, Android 10, four core, two gigahertz CPU. It is hosting four gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of ROM, 12,600 milliamp battery, comes with two years of free updates and the normal stuff, CANFD and DOIP. The X431 on the other hand, it's only 8 inch it is running the same android 10 2 gigahertz cpu with four core different cpu but same values four gigabytes of ram 64 gigabytes of storage 6000 milliamp battery two years free updates and the standard can fd and doip both of these units connect the classic way to the vehicle with a normal cable this ensures that you never have to stress about going to a vehicle and realizing that you didn't charge it and you don't have the charger available. So cable, safest way. Also when you're doing the programming, it's the most reliable way of connecting to a vehicle. Pricing and where to buy them. 1000 ish US dollars for the K10, 500 ish for the X431. Amazon, AliExpress and eBay should be very safe choices when ordering these tools different discounts different sale periods will be available during the year choose the one that makes more sense for you affiliate links will be available below so if something makes sense for you try to use our links besides the price of purchasing the unit you need to take in account the price for updates a rough estimate with regards to updates is that for the k10 you are paying 349 dollars a year and for the x431 you're paying 189 some sellers on aliexpress might be able to give you different discounts explore those bits also now why pay double for just the screen and the topology mapping or what are the actual differences between these tools the marketing spiel says that this one has only 31 servicing functions while this other one has 41. I've done the hard work, wrote the special functions for each in an Excel spreadsheet, compared, cross-referenced these results, and the unique functions for the K10 are as follows. Clutch matching, electric water pump starting, ECU reset, FRM matching, gateway, data calibration, odometer reset, rainfall light sensor settings and turbocharging matching. Are these servicing functions actually able to turn the scale and convince you to spend double the money? There's not just that. Also the marketing spiel says that 
the K10 is able to cover 150 vehicles versus 100 vehicles on the X431. My actual testing and looking at these vehicles, you'll notice that both of them cover the same main brands while the K10 has a lot of Asian vehicles, uh, strange electric and newer vehicles. It might be relevant for you if you work in that type of market, but for the majority of people working in Europe on older vehicles, X431 is covering the majority of your work. This was the marketing, what is the actual testing? After using these tools in parallel, I started to notice the following things. The good and the bad. The K10, strangely enough, has a short cable. Well, I have a neighbor that has an alarm. Who doesn't love a neighbor that has an alarm? Let's do some actual testing. When comparing the two units, I've noticed quite fast that the K10 has a short cable, an annoyingly short cable, which makes your life harder because the screen is quite big and you cannot put it on top of the steering wheel. Also, consistent with the King Bolin software on other devices, the software is locked just to be a diagnostic tool. You cannot install anything by comparison with the X431 where I installed the ACDP2, you are just able to use it for its main function. Some people might like it, some people might not. A small detail, the K10 doesn't come with a screen protector, but it really, really needs one. This amount of real estate is a scratch magnet and especially if you deploy it in a workshop environment, the consequences will be dire. The ugly duckling, since the day I received it, still has its screen protector and it's performing quite well and it's giving me the confidence of not stressing that much now what are the good bits about the k10 you're spending the money but at the end of the day you're getting the premium feel to this product fit and finish materials screen quality resolutions everything are spot on it is also feeling and moving faster than the X431. The screen size, although not a massive size difference, when you're working on vehicles that have multiple diagnostic codes and you want to have a big overview, you want to see and understand the big story behind the faults, it's more useful to be able to have a big report and a big page to scan through than looking at it on a small little screen. The same thing goes for when you're doing programming and as an example on the BMWs you need to check the software versions of multiple files. This makes it much easier to do than the smaller screen where you need to scroll, you're afraid that you're gonna touch something. So big screen, big improvement. I've also noticed that the K10 has guided functions for BMW, VAG and some other vehicles and overall as a package is a good diagnostic tool and if you compare it with tools like Snap-on, Hella, Bosch and other tools that are prohibitively expensive this feels like a bargain. Having these problems, I've also noticed and I'm able to give you a few tips to be able to survive until you get a OBD extension or maybe it will be the final solution for you. To be able to manage the shorter cable, I've started to implement this. Pull the top, top menu and click the flip and now it will allow you to just twist the device receiving the OBD cable from underneath and making use of this type in a vehicle and resting it more comfortably than struggling with a cable coming from the top. Another interesting hack that I've seen with these ones makes use of the big battery that the K10 has and it will allow you to charge different devices. I'm thinking of your phone if you're using it as a hotspot for some programming or for some operation you just get a usb cable you connect it to the port and if the unit is open it will be charging 
your mobile device. You can use it for other scanners, you can use it for your phone, torches and whatever else you need. We reached the point where we have an overview of these tools and we need to have a conclusion. If you made it this far, I will congratulate you. You are actually someone that is paying attention to the details and by doing this you will learn a lot. My non-dramatic conclusion is that you shouldn't go by default with the expensive tool. My conclusion is that you should buy the tool that makes better sense for the work that you're doing and your budget. X431 is more than capable for DIY enthusiasts and even for garages. If you want a more posh experience, if you have technicians that you don't want them to mess about with settings on a device, yes the K10 works better in those environments and should you have a constant revenue stream, this tool will pay for itself. If not, X431 is still a very valid tool that will help you along with 90% of the things that you need to do. Also, don't stress too much with regards to the tool. I've tested and seen that even the small little dongles, if you use them properly, can do a lot of things so you don't need to always spend crazy money to have diagnostic capabilities. A detailed review and tips and trick, tricks video for the X431 is available here and there. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one.